uh, you're, we're filtering out. And we can look at this uh, with another command. Uh, if I ever want to see routes from my neighbors, from one, you know, if I do show IP PGP neighbors, and then you know, say we want to look at the routes coming from you know, customer one, put in their IP here, and then look at the routes do a route statement and we can see that we're learning two prefixes from customer one. Why don't we see that third prefix? Because we've advertised it in the BGP, right? Well it's being filtered again by the prefix list on the ISP router. Um, we can also look at the unfiltered routes, you know, basically all the routes that you're receiving from a specific customer, you do that same exact command almost show IP BGP neighbor and instead of routes you do receive routes and then you're going to get this error inbound soft reconfiguration not enabled not a big deal all we do is go into router BGP 1000 go into our neighbor that we want to look at the routes and we just do a soft reconfiguration inbound and then we'll go ahead and do neighbor our customer two router two while we're here. Neighbor one thirty zero zero five soft reconfiguration. Inbound. Now if I go back, do a show IP PGP neighbor received routes. You can see that I am receiving three prefixes, but I'm filtering this last one. Remember this the ten network. So now. Um, I do if I look at let's let's go and look at my received routes from customer two. Let's do routes. Remember routes, the routes command is after it's been filtered by the router. You know, after it's hit all the you know the different uh, you know, access lists, distribute lists, prefix lists and such. So under here you're not seeing, you're only seeing the, the one and two network, which set up earlier. Now if we go with that same you know, uh, same customer, customer 2, and do a receive routes on it, you see that we're receiving three prefixes. We're receiving the slash 10 as well, but we are filtering that. see that it doesn't have the carrot next to it, which means it's not being added to the routing table. We can see that if we show IP route, look at the routing table, we have no, uh, no slash 10 network in our routing table. So let's say, you know, that is a valid, the slash 10 is a valid network that we should only be receiving from customer one. How do we how do we allow that route to be to come in? It's easy to just go under uh, your prefix list for customer one, which I don't remember. Okay. IP prefix list to customer one. We'll name this sequence 30. All right? We're going to permit 130.10.0 slash 24. <clears throat> Anything less than or equal to 32. So any type of you know a subnet mask they want to send us that's Includes this 130.0.10 network is fine. Show IP prefix list again to check it. And you can see to customer one. This is our prefix list. And we have now permitted the 10 network to be received from customer one. 
So if I do a clear IP VGP on my customer one connection, a soft clear. And then if I go back here now and do a show IP VGP, you can see now that I am learning the slash 10 network via the next hop of customer one. We can also verify this by doing the show IP VGP neighbor 130.0.0.1 routes. Now you can see we have three prefixes learned uh, after they've been filtered by the router. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, go ahead and ping it. Let's make sure we got connectivity. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's prefix lists and how to set up prefix lists with BGP and how to verify you know the configuration and you know verify that you're learning the prefixes and you know that you have uh, full connectivity so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I want to thank you for watching